Hello, my name is Andrew Perkins and welcome to part 9 of my Laravel tutorial. In this video we'll continue working with Eloquent to learn how to delete data from the database. So here on our author view page if we wanted to delete Terry we should have a delete button here to get rid of him. So let's do that first. We'll create the delete button. So let's go into our text editor and under views authors let's open up our view.blade.php file and so here's the paragraph tag that we have displaying our two links, the authors and edit author link. Uh, if you notice we have that in a block level element so when we add our delete button it's gonna mess with the styling and I just wanna make sure that the button remains on the same line as the authors and edit links and to do that I'm just gonna change the p tag over to using a span that way it's an inline element and then when we create the uh, delete button, I'll just make sure that that form is also in line so that they all stay on the same line uh, when we view it in the browser. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'm just going to do it so it looks prettier. Alright, so let's create our delete button. We'll use our form class and its open method and then we'll just tell this to submit to author slash delete and it's going to do a delete request since we're deleting authors and then like I said I'm going to set some styling for the form element so that it displays as inline and you can just pass in a third parameter to your open method it's just an array and this will allow you to set HTML options for the form tag so I can just set the style of this form tag and we can just put its display to inline there we go now we just need to create our hidden form field which is going to hold the ID of the author that we're wanting to delete remember once we submit the form we need to know which author to delete so in our controller in our action when we process the form we'll be able to grab this ID and delete this author and now we just need to create our delete button so I'll use the submit method and the text is just going to say delete and then we'll close the form there we go so let's go take a look we'll go into the browser and refresh and there's our delete button now you could style this delete button to make it look however you wanted um, but I'm just gonna leave it like this and now we just need to make sure that we can delete the author so you see we get our 404 here so we need to go create this author slash delete route so back into our text editor let's open up our routes.php file and we'll just scroll down here to create our delete route so we'll call the route class and we'll use the delete method this time since we're responding to a delete request and our route is author slash delete that we used in the form so we'll set the author slash delete URI and we don't need to give it a name because only our form is going to submit to this we'll never link to it or redirect to it um, but we'll set the uses key to map this to our authors controller and the destroy action there we go so let's go create our destroy action we'll open up our controllers folder and authors.php and down at the bottom let's create our destroy action so we'll create a new public function and it's going to be prefixed with the delete http verb and that's why I didn't call my action delete because that kinda looks ridiculous delete delete so that's why I named the action destroy looks a little better there we go so now we just need to process the form submission for deleting the author so to delete the author we can just use our author model and we'll use the find method to find an author by ID and we'll just use our input class and the get method to grab the value of our hidden ID field from the form and then we can just call the delete method to delete that author and then afterwards we'll just redirect back to the author's index page to show them that the author was deleted and we'll give them a success message so let's just return and we'll call our redirect class and its to route method redirect to our authors named route and we'll set a flash message here with the with method and it's just gonna say the author was deleted successfully there we go and I'll break this down because it's running off the page and so that's it for deleting authors let's give it a try 
we'll go to our browser and let's go back to the author view page and so we should be able to, to delete Terry here there we go we get redirected back to the author's index page we get our flash message and you can see Terry's not there let's try deleting Robert and it works so that's it for this video I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching